All right, yo, what's up? My name is Petralcy, and we have some pretty massive Pokemon changes happening. A big update day. I thought it was just going to be maintenance, but there is a lot more going on. Let's go through it together. I'm also seeing this for the first time. Looking forward to Pokemon's Halloween event next week. You love to see it. Q has switched over to the spooky profile picture. Aha, very scary. All right. Moving on, Gen 9 to 2, move changes. Move additions can be found below. How many is this? Do I have to... Oh, geez. Okay, this is going to be a lot. Okay, I'm not going to cover all that. I'm really sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, we'll have to cover that. If, if something's unique or something interesting, maybe I'll cover it in a different video, but I'm going to have to jump over that for the time being. It's just too much to cover in this video. There's too much other interesting stuff to cover. Sorry. Uh, new TMs have been added for the uh, moves Charge, Haze, Spite, Gravity, Knockoff TM, Bug Bite, Super Fang. Knockoff's probably the big one. Um, Haze is cool as well. These are essentially just make certain moves easier to learn. These items can be purchased in the large TM shop found in each region after their completion. Shiftry's second ability is now Wind Rider. This is the one that people are talking about. This is the Gen 9 DLC ability officially being added. Wind Rider prevents immunity to wind-based moves, boosting attack when it absorbs a wind move or when tailwind effect uh, is on the allied field. This is way more than you... Actually, they show you. This is way more moves than you guys realize, or at least than I realized personally. Moves are absorbed by Wind Rider include Gust, Whirlwind, Blizzard... Shiftry is now immune to Blizzard. That's a big deal. Uh, Icy Wind, Sandstorm is really interesting. I don't think it would consume like I don't think it would consume like Sandstream. Like if Titar came in, I don't think that's how it would work. But I could be wrong. Icy Wind is actually really interesting in doubles. I would guess uh, Twister, whatever. Heat Wave, very very impactful. Air Cutter, a really good Togekiss switch. Uh, Tailwind, and then her a lot of really impactful moves here. We think of Hurricane, we think of uh, Blizzard, Icy Wind and Doubles, uh, Heat Wave, Air Cutter, a lot of these, or not Air Cutter, sorry, I'm thinking of Air Slash, actually, this is probably not nearly important at all, apologies, uh, but still, Hurricane uh, for Rain Teams, uh, for things like Pelipper, there's a lot of really interesting, uh, honestly, absorptions there. Piplup, Pinplup, and Empoleon now get competitive. Illuminate now prevents accuracy drops and ignores a target's evasion. That's cool, giving Illuminate an actual uh, in battle use since uh you know normally it's not very good npc trainers i'm not seeing wait a minute though i'm not seeing the high dragon change which is something that people were talking about I, I don't know if i don't know if we're just not seeing that or maybe we'll get to that later i'm not sure let's there's a lot more here than uh you know i've gotten to yet npc trainer builds have been updated for gen 9 to 2 that's interesting ho -o rematch this is big People are talking about this. I think this stuff is really cool. I think encouraging story replayability or boss battle replayability like this. Oh my goodness. You get rainbow quills and a new item. Legendary lores. Okay, let's let's read it one by one step at a time. A more a more powerful version. No way. A more powerful version at the top of Bell Tower after a player has defeated the Johto storyline. Once defeated, Ho will drop a bundle of rainbow quills, legendary lores, increasing the chance to encounter a ro No way so they are giving you ah so legendary lores will mostly only work on roaming legendaries i assume oh will disappear for one week the remaining time is shown in the instance info they wanted to make johto even better they said you know what we know it's the like end game region we know it's the like you know the piece of end game content with the best shiny hunts the best money the best xp you know what let's throw a little more on top let's do rainbow quill farming and legendary lores and another end game re piece of end, end game pvm the hoa refight once a week wow so now you have the hoa refight once a week the red refight once a week and speaking of the red rematch red now uses additional rematch teams with special effects okay here's the challenge the, the balancing for this so there's gonna be different options as opposed to just the one team once defeated red will disappear for one week the remaining time is shown in the instance info nice they've updated the instance info which is a really interesting window I wish the servers were up so I, could, so I could show you guys. But if you go to the like main settings in the very bottom right corner on the PC UI um, of, of Pokemon, you should be able to like click that and like see the instance info little tab. It'll pop up. It'll show you like the E4 rebattle timer, the Red Reef rebattle timer, and Denali Ho rebattle timer as well. New iOS beta general availability. Previously released a new iOS beta as an optional download for testing. This beta is now the standard release. This change improves the general performance and stability on iOS. If you experience issues, please report them here. Gotcha. Seasonal items. I've already made a quick video teasing these. Seasonal items have return. Uh, I returned. I do not recommend investing in seasonal items. They return every single year, so they're not really good things for investments. But if you like the visual and look of them, 
pick them up. They're very, very cool and they'll be at their cheapest uh, right now. Now, what do we have here? Is this a, oh, this is just one of the limited particle effects from the, uh, from the gift shop. That is a seasonal, a seasonal particle effect. Okay. General changes. The quick party summary used in PvP and other items restricted battle modes has received a refresh. It now responds to the current battle state representing changing moves, held items, and abilities of your party. So what I assume this means is like in randoms PvP. Um, is that what the, I don't know if it's just that. Um, in randoms PvP, if like your Pokemon tricked a choice band off of a mon or, or onto it, it would like not display that in the summary. I assume that's what that means. I could be wrong. Um, in PvE battles, and I would assume it's the same for like trick and like those interactions like that that change your item and stuff in like a normal, you know, OU or whatever. In PvE battles, consumed held items are now automatically re equipped after the battle ends if the person that is awesome uh this is actually so nice this change also affects some battle frontier instances where previously items couldn't be well, that's really really nice so if you want to use focus sash or something in pve a bunch um you could it'll, instead of having to actually put another one on each time uh, it'll just do it for you here it is that's what i was looking for draco meteor is now enabled for diano zweilice and hydragon or dino however you want to say it um, that is a big deal. I've been telling people for a couple days now to start breeding uh, Dianos, start stocking up, make those two times 31 modest, two times 31 timid. Um, yep, Draco Meteor Hydragon is going to be really interesting to see in OU. I don't think it'll be broken, but we'll keep an eye on it. Sharpness damage modifiers for selective of from 1.3 to 1.4. This was the Glade buff that, once again, I recently made a video talking about all these changes. But if you missed them, here they are again. So, Glade is getting a slight buff after it was nerfed from 1.5 to 1.3 times boost on the Sharpness ability. It's going back up to 1.4 to see if it can uh, hold its own there. Uh, the Beldum lines middle and final evolutions, Matang and Metagross, and starter monsters middle and final evolutions catch rates have been reduced slightly. This has not changed based on encounters through lores. And starter mons, middle and final evolution sketchers have been reduced slightly. Catch rates have been reduced. It makes them more difficult to catch. They made Beldum. I guess they're saying they specifically made Matang Metagross more difficult to catch. And then like War Turtle Blastoise, Charmeleon, stuff like that, I guess. Um, sure. It's interesting. Uh, Love Disc held item chance for heart skills has been reduced. I'm excited to see what happens with the heart scale economy. I think now that mushrooms are gone, um, I think heart scales should go up in price. I think they're way too cheap. It's way too cheap to relearn moves. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, you know, it sucks to say that as a player. Like, obviously, it's nice to have cheap, you know, relearnable moves, but I'm excited for this, honestly. I think, I think this, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. A Meowth Horde in early Kanto was removed. People were talking about this in the Discord. People were saying maybe it's the one with like Meowth and Jigglypuff. I don't know on what route. So maybe that's like one, a 100% Jigglypuff spawn now. That'd be interesting if you're a fan of shiny Jigglypuff hunting. The amount of damage dealt by... The amount of damage dealt by Rough Skin, Iron Barbs, Rocky Helmet, Jabako Berry, and Rawap Berry against boss monsters has been reduced. Okay. Aftermath now only activates once per battle per monster. Ooh, this is to nerf cheese. I know people can use you can use this for like E4 or like certain boss battles if you just spam revive aftermath rocky helmet mons. That's really interesting. They are really, really making it harder and harder for the players, which I'm not totally opposed to. All right. On to bug fixes. Anything after bug fixes, or is this pretty much it? I usually don't read through all the bug fixes just because it's just so much. Um there's any like notable ones we can kind of see but added some rock smash rocks to Johto's Route 40. This is wait, that's a massive deal. For those who don't know, oh my goodness, are you kidding? For those who don't know, this is huge. Um this means that there will be a, a Shuckle encounter in Johto. Uh, Shuckle has a like Pokedex entry. I, I think I could be wrong. Uh Poke Shuckle has a Pokedex entry in um in the Pokedex. And there was supposed to be rocks at a certain you could and there was no rocks. I couldn't find the rocks. So there was no way to actually encounter Shuckle in, in Johto, but I think you actually can now. This one was also called out by um by uh Discord, and I have no idea. This could be a massive change or be nothing. Fixed an issue where hordes, when lured by sweet scent, okay, we're talking about the most common shiny hunting method possible. What are they changing here? Would not have their odds weighted correctly. Previously, all hordes had an equal chance of being encountered. Now they're weighted as if the player encountered them through walking. I have no idea what this means. Um, I don't know. This is kind of scary. 
I, it could be it could be nothing. It could be massive. I don't know what this is gonna do. Um, but that is very, very interesting. All right, moving on. Um fixed issues, yada yada, stuff there. AI is now aware of the damp ability. Fuck, that's kind of funny. Uh no more dumb AI exploding into your your Pokemon. Okay. Uh fix a crash. Okay, do 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 fix a crash. Do do do. Okay, continuing not to there, there is some cooler stuff. Let's go down. Let's go down. Changes. Players can only purchase one XP Ramplifier per character. I guess that makes sense because like you can only ever turn one on. Buying multiple would just be a waste. So that makes sense. Added a confirmation when purchasing really large stacks of items. This is nice because a lot of people tried to... Uh, people would like... People are so muscle memory used to like running over to the Pokemart and just going to... Um, Go to the Pokemon and like going max for like Pokeballs, like just buying like 100 Pokeballs and it'd be like, you know, like 20k or something. But now if you made that mistake, it was like 200k or like certain items for like max stack would be like a couple mil. A lot of people, you know, like accidentally bought way too many of certain things and paid the price because of the difference uh, when, they, when they changed the stack uh, quantity a couple patches back from 99 to like 9,999 or whatever. So it makes a lot of sense. Rock Smash is no longer available as a TM. Players at the team in their inventory during some will have it removed and their item refunded. Spooky candy and special candy from previous years have been removed. Players with this item have been refunded. I definitely had some of these. So I'm excited to see uh, what happens with that and how I get quote unquote refunded. I don't really, it's not really, I didn't have that many. Not the big of a deal, but it is interesting. I'm excited to see what happens. I'll be the first one to not first. There we go. A bunch of people heart react to this. All right. Very cool stuff. Once again, I didn't cover all of the like move editions and all of the do 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 all of the bug fixes and everything. I might do a separate video on that if you guys want to see it, or you can always read through it on your own time. Linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching this though. Pretty big update, lots of cool stuff. PvP changes we knew were happening. Um, some TM changes, the hidden abilities. Biggest thing, some of the biggest stuff being the ho -Oh rematch now existing is crazy. Uh, the red rematch getting some changes, seasonal items. What's the quick recap? Uh, and we'll see, Griffin Meteor, we'll see what happens with the We'll see what happens with that sweet scent change. I'm curious to see how that goes. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if it was helpful and you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Follow the streams on Twitch Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's down below if you're interested in that. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch Prime, Twitch subs, PayPal, Slipfinal, and uh, yeah, that helps out a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Arito.